Pilei Kumar, and welcome to Pakuri. This year has been a very, very significant year for the indigenous peoples. It has seen us fighting battles on many, many fronts. And some of those battles are not only external, they're also internal. If a seed fails to change, then it will not grow into a plant. If a plant fails to change, then it will just wither and die. When you fail to adopt to change, these things are inevitable. Now we look at the change that has occurred nationally for the indigenous peoples. There are some measured ones, some measurable ones, and there are also some that we haven't seen a single change. But we have gone from British rule, correction from Dutch rule to British rule to independence. And now there is something that we all have to look at. And we all have to realize it is inevitable and is the only way forward. It is interdependence. While we have many, while our identity has come under attack by various other groups, we all have to place ourselves within Guyana and realize what our coat of arms says. We are one people, one nation, fighting for one destiny. But sometimes it becomes difficult to fight for one destiny when others fail to recognize you for being one people. It becomes difficult to fight for one destiny when your own identity comes under attack. And I think these things, they all need to be addressed. And we all need to be very, very mindful, be very guarded. Because when these things start to tear us apart, it tears the very fundamental fabric of society apart. And we cannot stand for it, and we should not tolerate it. Indigenous communities need to be looked at as more than projects. What indigenous communities and indigenous peoples need are partners. At the end of the day, a project will come to an end. All projects start and finish. Some of them, they say, sustainable project. But the true definition of a project in itself means that it is something that eventually will end. And I draw that because I know there is a very important partner, and I think this is an example as to how communities should develop. And I will point to that example as in the partner that we have developed with Guyana Goldfields. Over the years, there has been no company, no government, no organization, no entity that has offered that to the indigenous peoples of Pakuri. They are the single largest employer of people from this community. They continue to support stable and strong households in this community. And they continue to con uh, donate and contribute tremendously to the fabric of families and the fabric of this community. And I highlight that because I think it is something that has been missing in the past. When we speak about the relationship or relationships that we have with organizations and government, I think these things show what partnerships can do. This Benab in itself that we sit under was built because of some of those partnerships. The very fact that we have a road in the community, school, all of these things, these things would have been a partnership to a certain extent or a great extent with the partnership of the government. But we cannot allow these partnerships to fail. We cannot allow them to dwindle away. It, partnerships are something that we have to continue to build upon. I look at the partnership that we have with our own people and how sometimes those partnerships are threatened by policies. We have a partnership within our ex show, Leland Quinkin. He has contributed to this community for well over 40 years. And I think he deserves a round of applause for that. But that is not only a 
uh, partnership and contribution that is limited to community. He served in the defense of this country. We look at our next candidate up above, Mr. Julian Katow. Yes, a, a community member, but a partner to the indigenous peoples. We saw how policies affect indigenous peoples and indigenous communities. And we continue to see them in this day and age. We have our own Sir Orlando Schumann has a master's in public administration, but yet cannot be retained within the community of Pakuri. Not because of a lack of want, but because of poor, poor policies. And I think these things highlight some of the roadblocks that we face. Some of the roadblocks that affect indigenous peoples and affect indigenous communities. And I bring your attention to that because there are some larger things that need to be addressed. If we were to look at policies, we have to speak of constitutional reform. We have to speak of legal reform, reforming the Armenian Act and the various other acts that impact negatively on the lives of indigenous peoples. I am pleased by the efforts of the United Nations Development Program and their representatives in driving forward a very robust guidelines to the Armenian land titling project. That in itself is a partnership. And I look forward to some of these things continuing to be maintained. But in the end, we all have to look at our identity and our place in Guyana. And we all have to stand guard to the threats that exist to that very identity and to eroding our cultural practices and our traditions. So as we celebrate today, on this, the last day of September in Pakuri, I am honored to do it amongst friends. And I say that whether you're opposition or government, whether you're international or not, I am very, very honored to see this many people in our community once again. And I look forward to all of us building some fantastic and long-lasting partnerships. Welcome to Pakuri. I do hope you enjoy the day's festivities, and thank you for joining us. Look down from your window, no big city lights, just greenery, I don't know what you come for. Listen up my dear, we're such a man free. Welcome to the land of many faces, not one, not two, but six different races. You know when the sun gives your skin, you're in the right place.
city lights just greenery You don't know what you come for Listen up my dear, we're such a man free Welcome to the land of many faces Not one, not two, but six different races You know when the sun gets your skin You're in the right place G-U-I-A-N-A Oh, that's my beautiful country My name is Kelly. My name.